Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along to another episode of Grass and Grain. My name is Jack, as always, and you join me here on top of the hill at Scatterbrook. And we are, well, we're just watching Danny here. Uh, he's been put to grips in the 4850 with the um, one, well, with the kind of heavy duty cultivator on the back, really. We are, we're going to be looking to get this drilled very shortly, probably in about another three weeks. So we need to get it all just worked over once first. Um, to get rid of a wide berth on it, but we'll let him do his thing. Beautiful view of the valley here, as you can see, absolutely stunning today. Uh, so, hopefully, that will continue. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to make some good progress. We're just making sure Danny gets away here properly. This was uh, this was set aside, it was winter barley last year. And it was left, we're just gonna drill it over here, or, or kind of knock the top off it here and roll it over. And we're gonna be putting some uh, putting some oil seed rape into here in probably about three weeks' time. So, we we're just going ahead of ourselves really because I know I've got a lot of grass work to come in. Uh, so yeah, the big old girls out there getting a bit of a work in today which is fantastic to see. It's nice and dry on the top actually, it got a little bit of a rain recently uh, which kind of dampened down the surface but yeah, it's looking in good condition, it's rolling over very nicely. Uh, we're going to leave Danny here just to do his thing, he'll be more than happy I'm sure. Uh, we have a walk down there, look at the views over the hill though, it's just stunningly beautiful. Uh, and over that way as well. So yeah, it's looking very good. This is a crop of spring barley we've got coming up here. And, uh, we'll be looking to get into that probably in... It's not going to be ready for a little while yet. It's still a little bit out. Uh, but we'll get into that as and when we can. Um, but yeah, we're just going to leave the team up there and then we can keep going really. Making sure we get uh, caught up with everything we need to do. But we've got lots to do today. We're going to... Um, we're actually going to be hauling some digestate today. Uh, which is going to keep us busy, so it's going to be from the local biogas plant. And that's going to be coming all the way up here, and um, we're going to be taking them up, the, up to uh, Jerry. Uh, oh, where's my push gap gone? Yeah. And yeah, so Jerry's going to take a load of bio, um, a load of digestive. We're going to put straight into his first cut, some of his first cut ground at least. Uh, give that a bit of a kick on that it needs. Uh, elsewhere around the yard here, we've moved a few bits of equipment, we've tied a few things up, we've still got a few to do, these mowers and the, uh, this mower and the rake need to go inside. Uh, we'll show you what we what it's all looking like inside, it's looking remarkably better now actually, it's so much tidier. Uh, some of the equipment has been put back outside because it's been hooked up to tankers uh, that we're going to be using. Um, but yeah, everything in this shed needs to be sorted out still, it's just kind of putting there out of the way for now. But we'll uh, we'll get onto that one. Is my land drawer blocking away? No. And here we are, everything is put away, we've got plenty of space here. As I said, I was going on, I moved in all of the uh, pallets of seeds, so they're nicely out of the way, kept them nice and dry now, which is fantastic. And it also frees up that entire back Dutch barn now for bales. So we will be make, trying to make the most of that one, put as many bales into there as we can, particularly hay over the, the coming few weeks uh, and yeah elsewhere though everything else is looking good I'm very pleased to have this space we do park the, all the machines in here uh, we have the, the Danny's machine was there for example and then uh, mine was here uh, John D6930 here in the uh, fence there so and the fit usually stays in here for now but this whole shed the idea is as well this shed can soon be filled up with um, with straw or hay as well now we are thinking of Implement or, or making a second colour silage. We're thinking of putting some uh, uh, some silage bales in and we'll probably get those stacked in the corner of the yard here. But today we're going to get out in the bottle. Well, Chris is already sitting waiting in his in the 11090 or the 190, sorry. Uh, and we are going to jump into 6930. We've got a new Red Rock uh, kind of nursing tanker, really, for want of a better phrase. So we're going to be using that. You can see it brought all the trailers in here to keep them all nicely tidied up and nice and neat out of the way. And the water tank was wired, uh, was plumbed in as well. So that's good news. We've got everything kind of where we want it to be and it's all um, all tied in. So what we'll look to do today, we're going to go and have a little bit of a drive. Uh, I'm going to just fire up the... Fire up the John Deere. Let's get this shut here. So yeah, we're going to be... We're actually going up to where we... Um, where we were originally baling and wrapping bales probably about a week ago now. Get it started over there. So we're going to put it straight down onto that ground there. So it's a little bit of a hole, but it's nothing too far. We're going to have the two on. It's, there's not a great deal of ground to cover there, so it shouldn't take too many loads of digest aid, but we'll do what we can really. Um, we'll get ourselves going. I'm going to pull forward here. Just a fraction anyway. Um, 
Tractor's already a little bit filthy, actually, but never mind. I uh, just need to go and speak with Chris, make sure he knows where he's going, and then we'll uh, we'll get ourselves up and running. So we're going to get on our way then, uh, and then we're going to just go through the main yard. We want to keep that gate shut as much as possible, really. We can. Around the corner here. And on we go. We're not too wide, so we can get squeezed through here without a problem, really. Uh, it should be good. We are still waiting. We're probably about a, t a week out from making some hay. Shouldn't be too long. It's starting to thicken up. It's had a little bit of rain recently there, but yeah, like I say, it shouldn't be all that long to make some hay. I'm actually looking at the possibility of getting a little bit of extra land, uh, acquiring the field, just renting it uh, from a family who look like they're not going to be able to get their um, get their land covered this year. Actually, I think due to an illness in the family there, they've kind of had to put the farming operation on hold a little bit. So uh, that might be that might be the case. So I said I might come in there, and uh, they've offered the land to me at least. Just need to see, uh, get a little bit more information about that. But we could there could be a chance that we make a little bit of hay there as well. So it'll be it'd be a good idea if we can do that for sure. Helps everyone out really. Uh, and yeah, we're we're looking to get as much hay into the shed as possible. So it's always good. Uh, also, no, yeah, everything's coming along nice. It's a beautiful day to be on the barge down there. That's for sure. Absolutely stunning. We'll keep just cruising along and back in the 69. I love being out in this tractor, it's a real nice tractor to drive. And we're just gonna slow it down here. Perfect. And yeah, we're gonna head down into the BJ. We've been there a few times before, you guys know where we're going for sure. And uh, we're going to start, we've got the two fields to cover as you may recall, now the first one we're going to look into is the one just up that track there, and the, close, the one close by at least. Uh, and we'll see if we can get that one, uh, that one shouldn't take too long to finish off at all really. So what I'm going to do first though, before we go too much further, I'm going to have a quick stop here and chat with the lovely ladies in the office. See if they know what's going on, and we'll come back to you when we have a bit of a better idea. We're just going to loop ourselves around. Uh, we've come through on the pits that's empty already. Uh, and we're going to pull ourselves, rock up to the side here. It should be as good to go. Uh, and we'll see if we can get ourselves, uh, see if we can get kind of hooked on here and get loaded up. So we'll, we'll get this done, and we'll come back to you just as soon as we can, as soon as we can get ourselves up and work. Well, we've, we're lugging a fair amount of weight here now, particularly in this tanker. This has got some, oh, I don't know what this is here, but it's it 3,000 gallons or something. But it's, you know you're pulling it when it's full, let's put it that way. Real amount of weight in the back of it. Now, what we're not going to do, actually, is just have a quick chat with Joey. We're not going to go to that field, though. Mainly because it is, uh, well, it's on such a slope there that we don't want this digested. It's quite, uh, it's quite, it's a very runny liquid at this stage, so we don't want to uh, we don't want to go over there because it's going to run straight off. There's a water course down the bottom of there, uh, so we don't want to run straight off down the down the hill off the hillside into the river. So what we're going to do is head back up to the other the other field, uh, which is not too far away here. Now what I think we might do is just set uh, young Chris away in the field, and I might just stay on the side just so we don't have two tractors rolling around from a compaction standpoint. Uh, which would be rather nice to do, so we might look into doing that, uh, and then we can, we should be good actually, we should be able to just kind of keep pushing through, uh, and then I'll, I'll kind of nurse from the roadside, I think would be the best way to go, um, and then we'll see how we go, if I need to go and fill up another, uh, my tank is a little bit uh, bigger than uh, Chris's, uh, on the old Abbey, uh, so we should be able to just get through that there, that's going to be a good plan I reckon, we're going down to the range here though, that's a bit a little bit slow. There we go. I love this beautiful old uh, bridge here. It's just stunning. The old viaduct. Absolutely delightful architecture. It's um, really impressive engineering, considering its age. But for now, we're going to keep trudging our way up the hill. Uh, at this stage, while we are trembling along here, I would like to say thank you ever so much for. Uh, tuning in to the latest episode of Grass and Grain, I hope you are enjoying it. Uh, to all those who recent who have recently joined the uh, family of Simulation for the Nation, who does host my work, thank you ever so much for doing so. I know he's always uh, very appreciative of that. 
uh, and long may that continue. So thank you very much on behalf of both myself and him. Good lord, we're getting stuck down here. There we go. It slowly lugs us up the hill there in the end. There's nothing else. And we'll, uh, we're going to just get into the village here and make a quick left and scoot around the back, I think. Beautiful day today. It's cloudy, but it's warm. It's, uh, there's a nice, it's warm, but with a, uh, like, with a nice breeze coming through at the same time there, so it's not too hot. Uh, we have had a bit of rain overnight as well, so it's perfect growing conditions, really. Absolutely ideal. Uh, this hay ground should be coming along and blossoming very soon actually, we should be able to get into uh, some, some good kind of hay pretty soon I should hope. Uh, but yeah, once we get this done and once we get uh, Chris away here, I might have to come back and have a look see at this land that we've been offered. See how that looks. Uh, what I'm going to do now though, I'm just going to pull on to uh, pull onto the roadside here, Let's stick some hazard lights on. I'm not going to go into the field too much, I'm just going to back in as soon as we've got Chris in. Uh, I don't want to go in if I don't have to really. I've got a lot of weight here as I've mentioned. And it's preferable if I don't kind of keep trudging into the field because it's too much. Uh, but what we'll do, we'll get uh, we'll get young Chris out of the way and then we'll see how he's looking. Alright then, uh, so we've got Chris away there, so make sure he got set up every everything. Uh, he's using his... He's using this uh, Abbey for the first time there, so it's little bit foreign to him but not to worry we're just gonna get ourselves poked into here nothing coming I feel sorry for the people in the caravan there if they stay in there overnight tonight they're gonna have a somewhat unpleasant smell but never mind not much I can do about that this time of year okay Like I say, we're just going to poke ourselves in there, that's good enough for me. Oh, we've got our door open here, we can just kind of sit and wait for a little while, to be honest. Uh, not a lot else we can do until he gets empty. There we go. So yeah, we're back on in the grass at least, we're getting a little bit of a kick up. That field you can see just on the other side of Chris there is actually oilseed radish. It's coming through very nicely, it's one of our fields, uh, or one of our contract fields at least. Uh, Chris is going nice and slowly as well, getting a good even distribution there, so that's perfect. We're looking to continue and get really kind of pushed through and do as much of this work as we can now. Hence the reason why we're also drilling some, uh, or getting the ground worked over so we can put some oilseed rape in, probably in about three weeks I think I mentioned. Um, the rest of the land, the combine's going to come out very shortly, actually we're going to give that a good service and over, make sure it's all looking good. Uh, but yeah, other than that, everything is coming along very nicely. We're, get, we're pretty much ready to go for harvest. Our uh, volume of hay is okay. It could be bigger. It could, we could have more uh, hay land. Uh, but if it's not there, it's not there. Sometimes you just got to kind of make do of what you can. So we'll continue and try and strive to do that. Uh, but otherwise, we're, I'm happy with how it's going now. We've got a lot of silage work done already. Delighted with how the grassland, the, how the new sheds come along, actually. That's really looking good. Uh, storage capacity has increased tenfold. There's one thing that we might still do and put a wall down in the middle, but at the moment um, our drying space is, is significantly big enough to survive without having to do that. So maybe we won't do that anytime soon. As you can see, this field's got a bit of a growth to it already. Maybe we're about a week late getting the, uh, this ground covered. Uh, but never mind, we're doing everything we can. Uh, and it looks like we're going to be, we should possibly have enough in here. Uh, we'll have to see how Chris gets on as he's coming back around and see what his gauge says, but uh, we should be okay, I'm hoping. Um, let's, we can always wait and find out though. Uh, this Red Dog trailer we picked up second hand, it's a little bit battered, it's, it's seen better days. Um, but it's perfect for us, is it? we've serviced it over, checked over the brakes on it, and it's looking and working fantastically well. Uh, and we can't really complain with that, so. Yeah, ultimately a very nice little machine here. Uh, I'm hoping we can get to use it a little bit more. And But yeah, for now though, we're going to just keep rumbling through this. Uh, what we will likely do is, I think I will come back to you later on when we're pushing through into the next field and we'll see if there's any further updates. Well, as you can see, young Chris here is pushing through rather nicely actually. And I figured why not, we'll just leave it here for the rest of the day. We're going to be pushing ourselves along. Uh, looks like it's a bit stuck there actually. 
Uh, we've got this field to do. We might have a look at the other field, but it's on too much of an incline, I think, and it, I don't want to pollute the watercourses there. Uh, so if we'll, we'll get this one done, and then I'm not sure what we can do for the rest of the day. We, I might actually pull the combine out and have a look at that, see what condition it's in, as we're only probably going to be uh, in the region of around about uh, maybe three, two, three weeks away from getting some harvesting work done. So for now, though, we'll leave it here. Thank you ever so much for watching each and every one of you. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to Simulation for the Nation. And we will see you in the next one. So until then, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. But most importantly, from the top of the hill here on Shamrock Valley, happy farming.